Good morning. Been messaging my friend Mark. He also has an excursion dealing with some kind of misfire. And he's having a hard time getting it diagnosed. He did find water in number five a, a spark plug boot between the, uh, the coil and the spark plug. So it's probably the cow leaking down in there. Uh, still, he said it's not running right. And I'm no expert in excursions, but I've had one for a while. So I'm gonna go give him a hand today and uh, see if we can get that thing running right. He may be getting ready to sell it. So if he does, maybe I can put it on my channel and do a little advertising for him for any of you guys out there that are looking for another one. It's a pretty nice unit. So we're going to try to fix it. Uh, I do have a headlight if you prefer to wear a headlight. If you don't, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Okay. And, uh, so I can get that pulled out of the way. You need to pull that, that hose. Um, we were on, let's see, we had one, two, three, four, eight, five. Eight. What did we have? We three, four, five, and eight. That's what it was calling for? Mm -hmm. One, so two, this so side. that just is what it is. Yeah. I can, I can move that out of the way. You know what? I remember doing this when I did those coils. I was like, these sucks. These are a pain in the butt. Man, I did the, the Ford over there. They're mm -hmm. worse. The, the mm -hmm. five, four, four. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I was I was cussing doing that. I was like, oh man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And actually, I haven't done the coils and plugs over there, but I pressure washed the engine and it started misfiring real bad. So I had to pull them to clean it. And then I ordered it. I have brand new plugs and coils for that. And so that engine actually has the same coils. It uses the same coils as this, I guess, because it's a Triton 5.4. Yeah, the uh, two valve. Okay, is that what? It, I don't know how, it would, but but those. So these coils, I have a whole. I have eight brand new ones, just like these. Okay. So. I don't know if you want to if we want to try to use if those. If you want to use what you got, I, I mean, mean, I can. They're brand new. I know. I mean, they're brand new, so I don't think they're bad. Uh, that's interesting. But they're the same brand that I bought for this. Okay. So I don't know whatever you think, but they're they're, they're brand new. So I have them. If we want to use them, right here. This is that MAS coil pack. I mean, like I said, a lot of people online spoke highly of them for being a cheap coil pack but mm -hmm. i mean i have a bunch of ones misfire so maybe they're not mm -hmm. you know what i mean just look at this so, mm -hmm. i mean it's it just doesn't have the uh -uh. It's, it's not got built as well yeah, it's just cheaper yeah it's not even doesn't look as heavy duty built but, <laughs> no, this is cheap too okay. yeah so whatever you think we can use these if you want to hang on to yours or i don't, it don't matter i don't anymore. really need so many, yeah. Because I would swap. I'd swap them in. That had a lot of water on it. <laughs> that was number ten. Yeah. So. Um, okay, we can pull out uh, one of the coils, and I got some extra spark plugs here. We can do what now? Oh, these are all, those spark plugs are motor craft, and they're uh, within, here, here's what it is. I mean, not, not to put in, but oh. I can um, pull the coil out yeah. and put this in it. Oh, oh, and, and you can see it spark. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, guess, yeah, those have 20,000 miles in those plugs and coil packs. That's another thing. This thing is so big, I got to climb up on the front end to get to this stuff. <laughs> Oh, hey, do you want to do it right there or do you want to pull it in here? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. Fine. Fine. I came up working on gravel. I'm not, so am I. But I've gotten kind of, I've gotten a little, uh, turned into kind of a rent now. I got the lift. 
I mean, but again, it's so funny because it's like the not knowing the platform. Like my BMWs, I can if, if there's a misfire, I'm like, all right, cool. If I know what to go for, I know what to do. You know what I mean? And it's like with this, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, it's just so funny. But I mean, if I ever lost my mind and bought a BMW, you'd yeah, be the one I, I would, call. I would talk you out of it, but I would be happy to help you. Yeah. <laughs> My, uh, what ones are we after again? One, two, uh, three, three, four, three, five, four and, five, and eight. And eight. Is that right? Yeah. See, that's a one with a broken clip. Yeah. I don't know if these oh, look at this crap. work. Look at that. The spring just popped out and fell into the valley. <laughs> you see it right there? <laughs> Let me get my what a piece of crap. You want me? I can put these new ones in. I don't care. It, I mean, that's up to you. The thing is, is how old are these? How many miles? Those have 20,000 miles on them. Okay. So you think they're just... Well, the thing is, yeah. if there's an issue, yeah. spark plugs are proven, and you put motor crap in. Yeah. And yeah, and I, I, yeah, I don't think it's the plugs because def definitely I put the exact plugs that was recommended. So. But I'll tell you that I put I put cheap ones in the Mark Eight. Yeah. And oh, is that a stainless spring? It sure is. Yeah. And I made it a week before three were misfired. And what was it? Full what packs. Kind of and what were they? Put, motorcraft? No, cheap ones. Okay. So you think we should just try some of these factories? I mean, you can. If it still Let's do it. misfires, then go with a new one. Well, yeah. But the thing is, replacing with what you got. And then it might just be, yeah. It might I mean, just, if they're bad out the box. That's right. Because I had three out of eight that were bad out the so box. So these are motorcrafts? These are motorcrafts. Okay. And as far as you know, they're good, right? 150,000 miles. Oh, nice. That's right. And if this fixes it, I'm going to be buying a brand new set of motorcrafts. I mean, you know, I, just stupidity. I knew better, but that's what it is, I guess. Okay, now. My wife will tell you. I always say, "Did you want a sandwich?" You said you didn't want a sandwich. You're good. Thanks, Sarah. You can just set it. Um, just set it in the back of the suburban. Oh, Sarah, you met. I don't know if you remember. You met Skip a long time ago. And I don't know if you remember meeting no, Sarah. It was, you were still at the car wash when you met her, when we probably first got married. Because it was some event at that church across the street from the car wash, that, like a black church over there. Yeah. If so, you might have been stayed in the car. I think well, I picked I up a router. I think he, he got from us one time. a router once. We met you at uh, Walmart um, with the old camper. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's right, because uh, my mother-in-law, that's when we were about to start building a house, and they needed somewhere to stay. And they were going to buy a camper to live in on the property while they built, and they ended up doing something else. That's funny. I can't, I can't make you a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is one with a broken clip. And why is that it just pivoting around? Did I not tighten that in all the way? Yeah, when you put them in, uh, go easy completely. Crack it. Yeah, it's crack. Well, that's in there good. It just wiggles around a little. Is that okay? Oh, no. Oh, you don't. Why is that one wiggling? You see these? These don't have. I know on the three valve, mm -hmm. they have a little ear mm -hmm. that holds them in place. Yeah. 
three, four. See, I can force this one to move. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, that's fine. So three, four, five, and eight, is that what we said? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, four. I love them, man. They're freaking great. Yeah, you just set them on the ground. Those crappy corals on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The trays are pretty handy. You know, I have a rolling carts up there, and they're usually sitting on a rolling cart. No, it's your throw. How's uh, Pro Marine going? It's good, man. Everything has been, I've been super blessed. It's uh, kind of never in a million years. Thought it was gonna do well. Um, oh, look at this, Skip. I haven't pulled this one out yet. Check it out. Oh, water. Guess what? Hmm. Hmm. She wet. A little water in that one too. Um, yeah, it don't smell is, like coolant. No, it does or it doesn't. It does I think that's. Good. I think it's water. But the inside of this boot is what? Yeah, look at that. It's rusted. It's rusted all the way up onto the freaking electrode. The, the number five back there was not rusted right there. That thing's rusted. So that just, that's crappy, man. Mm -hmm. And this is what happens on the BMWs. It's the same thing. The same thing happens. These wear out and then the water starts. Jumping in. Well, that means I need to blow that out with compressed air, though. It's probably full of water in there, huh? Yesterday, day before, whenever it was we were talking, I uh, got that and uh, I used that and this piece of hose and I snaked this hose down in the hole and I just held the end of it to my, and just kind of sprayed it out, it kind of worked. This isn't the hose I used though. I tell everybody, I just said, dude, God has definitely had his hand on it because I'm an idiot and I can mess anything up. Yeah, I don't know how you normally do this, but this is what I found work for me. So, yep. See all that water come out of there? No, I don't have any shot there. What, how do you normally do it? What do you do? I would take a uh, piece of hose and put it in there. Yeah. And, uh, vacuum. vacuum. Okay. Which doesn't work as well, but look at all that water in there. How about that? So I'm assuming, and this is what I found on the BMWs did the same thing: is it can pour down rain and it doesn't show itself until that water creeps in through those boots, and then so that's why I was like, when you said that, I was like, no, I don't think it's that. Those are new quilt packs, and this is that. Yeah, but it's here. It's, it's this because that's what seals. Okay. The hole. Stop. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's not a whole lot, but but it can be enough to make a difference. 
I mean, this this has some flexibility to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't see. I think that's probably pretty good. It wasn't a whole lot of water came out of it. You want to put this one in? Is that good? Yeah. I guess it's good. I mean, <laughs> this one would be right. How about that? Dude, this is kind of embarrassing that it's something so simple because, again, like I said, I just, I'm not a sport guy. I mean, I know how to maintain crap and I can fix crap, but when you get to troubleshooting, I'm like, freaking dead in the water. It's good that you, you know people. Yeah, exactly. And you know, like I said, because I knew those plugs and foil packs were so new in my brain, I'm like, nah, it can't be that. But mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, and that's what usually trips you up is to yeah. think that because it was new, it can't go bad. Yeah. Where I was just aggravated when the Mark 8 mm -hmm. started misfiring. And it's like, I just changed the plugs and Mark and cords. And you said it ended up being the... Three of them. The coil packs were, it was generic coil packs you had in there? Yeah. And I put that. three of the, uh, the OEM ones back in, which yeah. only had 83,000 miles. Right. And it worked fine. So I've got all the rest of them too. Yeah. Well, so here's what's gonna happen is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and order Motocraft. Like I said, I'd, well, I'd, I'd rather keep this and I've been fixing that Suburban to flip it, try to make a couple couple bucks on it. And it's at the point now, I just charged the air up last night, the air's working, it's gonna have new shocks, it's ready to sell. And another one with a broken clip. See all that rust from mm -hmm. yesterday. Is it wet again? Or is that, can I just do that? I'm going to blow that out a little bit better in my ears. There's Look at the corrosion on the spring. Oh, gee. Yeah, it's been wet. Got a piece of crap. So you're saying silicone? Where up here? Oh, this is in, is this in place, right? No, this is oh, right there. Right here. See that split? Uh huh. Silicone wrap. Uh huh. And it keeps water from running off of this and down into here. Uh huh. And it will force it will force it to stay in this channel. Yeah. And come out the sides. So should I do some right here too in this little gap? I would. I would yeah. just silicone just all this. of that crap. Okay. All the way oh, down. Yeah. Go across you. that hole. How about that? Done with it. Isn't that stupid? Little thing. But it's things you won't see because mm -hmm. when it's raining, you're not under the hood. If you can help it. And especially you don't realize it's a problem until it's already been in there for a while. So this one, because there was so much water in it, you know, that's dry. When I originally did it, I sprayed brake cleaner and then put it out again. All right, another cool pack. Yes, okay. And if you look at how the intake is uh, molded, mm -hmm. there's nowhere for the water to go into the valley. Mm -mm. Just jumps right So it just there. puddles between the, the uh, valve and cover and the uh, And you either have a good seal casting. or you don't. Yeah. And if you don't, it's going to right then. In that chamber. The torque's gonna push all that water to the back if mm -hmm. it can't drain. So crazy, dude. Yeah. I remember I was cussing this and then I did that V8 over there. I was like, what the? This is, even, <laughs> this is way worse than that 10 cylinder. Do you a three valve by four? Oh, I don't think I want to. Your vocabulary will get. Really? Older. It's even worse? Yeah, we put a timing set on the navigator. Oh, really? Um, You're sick. That's a challenge. I watched uh, Ford Tech Mexico. Loco. Yeah. He's got a video series that's bolt by bolt. Really? And, uh, that's nice, I though. watched it four times. Before you attempted it? So, and it all worked. Yeah? Yeah, I was very surprised. How, um, how long did it take you to do the job? I guess if I'd have done it, you know, Consistently, yeah, but right. I, I can't work that way. I, I can only work a little while and then, and then have to, yeah, you gotta stop. Um, that's what I do. But it was especially for the timing, start to finish two weeks. But that's how many hours? Only a couple hours a day, yeah. How many hours do you think? Um, 10, 8, 10? 
I think it calls for 15. Oh, but, really? And I probably had a little more than that. I've never First time that. doing it, right? Um, but I had to take the oil pan off and it's full of that. So I had to take the axle loose so it tilts. Yeah. Um, we put in a new milling uh, 360 high volume pump in it. Really? So I had to get the. No, thank goodness it's not. <laughs> if it was 10 millimeter, it would be. It would be. I'd be like, all right, get another one. Um, the pickup uh, screen was just full of debris. Really? And the guy I bought it from said he had had the time to set done. They and probably didn't do that or what? Well, I don't think they dropped the pan because there was so much debris. Yeah. And, and it was only missing one uh, guide, chain guide. And the amount of debris in there looks like it was three chain guys worth. Really? Yeah. I worked at my buddy before he moved to Tennessee. He had a shop here. We worked on European vehicles. I got a lot of experience with new European vehicles and I realized how much I don't ever want a new car. But like the, uh, there's some valve built into the plastic valve cover. It's like PCV, valve, some sort of, not PCV, but anyway, some kind of a breather valve. That valve goes bad and you have to replace the entire valve cover because it's part of the valve cover. Wow. And, and these new six cylinder, BMW engines like the one in my mother-in-law's car over there. It's got metal. It's almost like like if you've ever worked on a diesel engine, it's got these metal fuel lines, but all the fuel lines are go over the valve cover. They're all metal. You have to pull all those off. I think the time on that, it's like it's like a four or five hour job to do the valve cover on a straight six. And the first time I did it, it took all of that. But then, you know, as with anything, you get better. I, I got to where I could do it in like two and a half hours. But like the amount of com the complexity to replace a valve cover now, it's like, I don't want a new car. I don't, I'm done. I'm just, there's nothing in the new stuff that is appealing to me at all. I mean, I, I don't see, I mean, they're cool. It's like you're in a spaceship and you got Bluetooth and whatever, but there is not enough good, or there, I should say there's too much bad that offsets the really cool stuff. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm, I don't want that. I'm done. I want to know that I can jump up here and work on my own car, you know, and not, it's crazy. When BMW stopped putting um, dipstick tubes for your engine to check your oil, I was like, I'm done. I'm out. Man, I don't want that. I want to be able to check my freaking oil. <laughs> Somehow, to check your oil on a BMW, you have to, like, start the engine, and then on your dash, go to the info center, and then do the oil check, and it's got to run for a certain amount of time to populate how much oil's in your engine. I'm like, so what if there's no oil in your engine? You know what I mean? It's like, you're, you're done. Yeah. Or like you did an oil change, you can't remember, hey, did I, did I already add oil or did the tech before me add oil or is there not? How, what do you do? <laughs> you just Increasing either. Con convenience and increasing your demand to have someone else fix your problems. Yeah, well, and unfortunately, and it's been like this for years, BMW, they don't make their money on the sale of a new car. They make more money on the sale of parts. It's just the way it is. I mean, there's a reason. And BMW, like my BMWs that I drive, I freaking love them. They're mechanical. You still feel that you can still drive the car. You still feel the ground. It's just like a, it's a, it's just fun. It's fun to drive. And the new stuff, it's like, you know, this assist and that assist, and it does this and it does that. And it's like this doesn't feel like anything. I don't, I don't want that. All right, number eight. Number eight. Six, seven, and eight. All right. I am gonna just pull this off for my convenience. We were at uh, Sebring, my neighbor Kevin, he was a BMW and Mercedes tech, mm -hmm. and he told me, Ooh, that's too far. Uh, if you ever own one, make sure it has warranty. Make sure what? Has warranty. Absolutely. Or you have a lot of money. That's, and that's what I try to tell people. People call me or text me, hey Mark, I'm thinking about getting a BMW. What do you, what do you think? I'm like, <laughs> I said, unless you're independently wealthy or you know how to work on it yourself, <laughs> then don't. I tell everybody, buy a Honda 
buy a Toyota. You know, it's just, but they want to do it. I pulled it off of here last time. Okay. They're going to want to do what they want to do. They don't, they don't care what you tell them, you know. They're just going to do whatever. But I, I don't want, I have nothing, I have no reason to have anything new. Man, I didn't know that came out like that. that easy. What's in there, oil? What's dripping out of there? That's freaking oil. Is that? The oil what? That, oh, no. I'll tell you what that is. <laughs> that is, um, that is, that, I put that in there. Uh, what's it called? Sea foam. Okay. I didn't realize it was just going to sit in there. So you mass, that's what you add, mass air sensor. I don't know. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> um, you, may, I, you may have gummed that mass airflow sensor up. Oh my gosh, look at all of it. So here's what I did. I put sea foam in one of these hoses and it pulled back that way or did I, or did I use the spray sea foam in here? I don't even remember now. I think I actually, I think I had this off and the filter out and I think I was spraying sea foam in there. Yeah, you probably shouldn't do it that way. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm not an idiot, but I don't know Ford's. Right. Yeah, let's take that out of there. The freaking, I didn't realize that it all just sat in there. I'm glad you pulled that off of there. That's a newer filter within a few months. Oh, that is a mass airflow sensor. How about mm -hmm. that? Yeah, I just went, you know, it's, they got the spray kind. Right. I guess we better clean that out. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Eight is another one that has a broken. Make sure that you don't have that on video. All the oil's dumping out of my. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's just, good content. That's great. Say, so this guy is really not an idiot. He just doesn't know anything about the shirts. That's my eight seven. on there still, yeah. Hey fella. Hey. How you doing? Hey, this is my buddy Skip. Hey, Skip, that's yeah. Steve, my nice father-in-law. I've known Skip for, I don't know, 20, 30 years, 25 years. Yep. You're the BMW guy? No, sir. He's the Ford guy. That's why he's yeah. here. Oh. I know how to work on Fords. He's the BMW guy. <laughs> yeah. So if I ever lose my mind and buy one, yeah. I'm not going to know how to work on it. I told him don't do that. I'll talk him out of it before that happens. <laughs> what y'all doing? Uh, this some, thing started running real bad. He got some misfires. A week and a half ago. He got That's, some misdirected sea foam. <laughs> Uh-oh. Somebody dumped a bunch of sea foam in the wrong place. Minor problems for, for this platform. So I think it's going to work. Yeah. Steve, it started riding so bad I couldn't drive it anymore. Yeah. That's why I have all my tools in the Suburban. Yeah. But if this fixes it, I'll be excited. I'll be very excited. Yeah, I put a bunch of sea foam in, a, in the intake thing the other day. Yeah. And I didn't even think anything of it. He just moved it and like oil started dumping. I was like, what is that? And I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that's all that sea foam I put in there. I guess that's not where the sea foam goes. Is that the sea foam spot? Get on this. If I'm on with a nicer boot on it. Oh, yeah. This is it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, oh, I, I guess they all have springs in them. I wasn't even looking. Mm -hmm. Where would this would be the last one. All the other ones were showing 0% misfire. Spin it back. Yeah, my backwards. Oh, yeah. What you doing, Steve? You coming to build some walls? We are. We are. I didn't know how long. It's all right. I didn't know how long this would take. I think we're just about. This is the last coil pack I'm putting in. Oh, you're changing. Oh, cool. Well, I had new generic coil packs I put in here twenty thousand miles ago, and um, he got me hooked up with a software and a little scanner, and we just drove it, and four of them are misfiring. And all well, I that'll can... make it kind of run rough. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, okay, all right, we're done. Now I just gotta put the hose back. Do you have a mass airflow cleaner? <sighs> I think I just used the rest of the other day on this. Uh -huh. 
Can we wipe that out of there? No, that's all sealed, isn't it? It don't. I think that's I think that's okay. You know where I it's just I was worried about it if it right. hit this, no. but it's dry. I think actually, you know what? Maybe I didn't spray it into there. Maybe I actually put it on the back side of here and it sucked it that way, but maybe the residual ran out. Well, because because, the, because it's downhill, uh -huh. if you used either one of these, I did back to That's what I did. Okay. And I it just to. it just ran in the, the That's snow. exactly what I did. Now now that you mention it, I put it in here. So now I use this whenever I put, put something in. From, oh, from the brakes. Yeah. That's a good idea. That makes more sense. Yeah, because it's constant vacuum. With this, you don't have good yeah. vacuum if the butterfly's open. That's right. Okay. Well, I guess there's a clip at some point up there. Oh, well. Okay. Since you baby it, then I do this won't it. help you. But if you ever have the grill off again, yeah. cut a hole in that plastic. Yeah. Just like this. Right. Oh, so that it can suck some yeah, fresh air in? Cool, cool. cool air. I never had that thing off there. I didn't know that just came out like that. Yeah. I see the little grommet that it snaps in there. Yeah, I usually throw mine away because you look at the difference in the whole size of this. Yeah. The tube. Right. But everything I've read on the forum say that the intake uh, tube is adequate for yeah. CFM's install. Nice. Get, Get that little wiping, wiping. So you see, foam doesn't evaporate. It sure doesn't. Oh, can I tell you? These are the worst air box oh, yeah. things I've ever dealt with, ever. The Ford truck over there is the same way. I almost threw it out in the woods yeah. when I was trying to replace. I replaced the oil filter. Yeah, you have to look at the bottom. I know. I learned that just the other day on the. Get your right. wrist is off. Come on. Uh, see okay. that's a triangle. I see it. This one was a pain in the butt, but that's the one I did recently. You you coming back, Steve-O? Yeah. Hey, you, let me go ahead and pull that saw off of there. Huh? You want me to take the saw off, or is it okay? Yeah, I think it's Here, I can get it. Got it. That's lighter than that other one. What you need? Where's your uh, you nose clip? Your one gear uh, clamp. It's up here. I took it off too far. It's right there. Does your cruise control work? It does. Use that kind of it. Yeah, I mean this thing is has really been it's had the um spin the recall done. It's had what? The recall. Oh really? Yeah. For what cruise control? Yeah. See this uh this brake sensor here? Yeah. Yeah. Their design, uh the diaphragm that's in between the brake fluid uh -huh. and the sensor it would rupture. Okay. And it would let brake fluid in there and it would cause it to catch fire and burn the whole car down. Oh, and if it was in your garage, it burned your house down too. Oh my God. So that's why they issued this recall. And so there's fuses in that there. Uh, so if it ever goes out, check your fuses. Okay. There's uh, two of them. Cruise control. Okay. One of them. Mark and I used Forescan hooked to the OBD2 to find out how many misfires and what cylinders. And it told us three, four, five, and eight. So I took my box of 20 used uh, coil packs to his house and we put in four of the old uh, Motocraft coil packs. And once we got them in and drove it down the road, all of the stumbling was gone. So that showed us that it was the coil packs uh, giving problems and we drove it around for about 15 minutes or so. And then afterwards, while he was watching the Forescan while I was driving, it, some misfires started showing back up. So at that point, the coil packs were heat soaked and 
if they were giving issues when they were in one of the V10s that uh, were used with the F350 uh, donor engine and with the uh, blown engine, uh, that is a possibility. So Mark is going to uh, order um, some motorsport coil packs and be done with it. He uses his excursion for work. He owns Pro Marine and he works on boats here in the Savannah area. So me and Mark have known each other a long time and he is good at what he does. He is a uh, great mechanic for BMWs, the uh, older bodies. Um, got, a, got a nice fleet there at his house of older BMWs. Thank you for watching today. Hope you enjoyed coming along and seeing me and Mark work. I know it wasn't a time lapse and that job probably could have went a whole lot faster if you're just doing that. But me and Mark hadn't seen each other in a while, so we were catching up. And I thought maybe some of the viewers out there would like to see some interaction between myself and my friend, fellow YouTuber, fellow business owner. So um, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of content, let me know by hitting like and subscribe. And hope to see you guys soon. Always remember, if a wrench doesn't work, use a hammer. Bye, everybody.